Sure, so that's been our primary focus for the last couple of years. We entered the clinic with uh, IKT 14809. It now is going to have a, a name which we released a couple days ago called Risvodetinib. And so um, 1409 is a small molecule inhibitor of a class of enzyme that we have linked along with our colleagues to the cause of Parkinsonism in human beings. And so when we reproduced human Parkinson disease in a variety of ways in animals, we could completely reverse the disease in those animals, no matter how far into the disease course they had gone, which is quite remarkable. And we could also do the same thing by not just analyzing what happens in their brains, but we also analyze what happens in their GI tract or their gut, because uh, as you saw this week in the BBC, there was a big press article about a recently published study that's not very new, the concepts that the GI tract or the gut is involved in an early phase of the disease has been known to clinicians for a long time. Most patients with Parkinson's have very severe GI problems. They can't go to the bathroom, they don't swallow normally, they don't digest normally, and that's all because of the same neural cla neuron class that's in their brain is also in their GI tract, controlling the passage of food as it's getting processed to waste. And so our studies now are focused in the clinic at phase two on not just analyzing what happens in the brain, but what's happening in the GI tract. I think we are the only company worldwide that is attempting to look systemically in the body for a therapeutic outcome. And I think ultimately that will serve us well. So we're now in the early part of a phase two study. Um, that study has already yielded some interesting results. Last year we had started this study, we had 11 patients in the trial, and then we wanted to reconfigure the study in certain ways. And so we pulled those 11 patients, we analyzed them, there was a promising outcome that I presented orally yesterday here at this Congress, and there'll be a poster on Wednesday related to that, poster 1444. And uh, similarly today, I'll be presenting results on MSA in the same fashion. So for us, our sort of common mechanistic uh, outcomes that we've determined for synuclein related pathologies like Parkinson's and MSA are becoming a very consistent picture and we think we're going to have a robust therapeutic outcome so we're quite excited about what's going on next year hopefully you know we'll be showing very meaningful results in human beings and what happens.